okay. We're back again to part two of this video. All right, it stopped at the King of Swords and the Six of Swords, right? All right, some of us is, uh, in a, uh, need to make a decision about our success, about being successful. Okay, on how you want to go about to become successful. Okay. All right, the King of Swords. Feeling like you need to cut something out in order to become more successful. It might be taking care of other people because this is about other people that, or let me say, people that are mature, whether it be physically or mentally, possibly emotionally, that are making a decision or trying to make a decision on being selfish. And there's nothing wrong with being selfish. A lot of people tell you that, that you should feel guilty for feeling selfish. No, baby. Uh, if you're not selfish about your health and your welfare, your freedom, your life, uh, being fulfilled, uh, you know, uh, then you're going to find yourself like a walking zombie. I mean, you live and you're just going through the motions. You're doing some repetitiously. But there's nothing in it. There's no heart in it. You know, uh, hopefully this is not going too far, but when you when you in a in a situation that's like that, it can even go as far as stunting your uh real romantic life. And intimacy, you'll be like, what is that? Mm -hmm. So we need to grow. We need to grow, okay? We need to drop some of these weights up and, and grow. Now, I'm going to tell you something I did many years ago. <clears throat> when I said many years ago, trust me, it was many years ago. I had felt like I had got into a place where I was overwhelmed. This was way before I even knew what meditation was. Trust me. We we talking back in, back in the late 80s, okay? And um, I laid down in my bed, and I started thinking about all the things that was weighing me down. And uh, metaphorically, I began to drop them off. Each one, as I thought about them, just take them and drop them off. Just drop them off. Wherever I felt it was at, that's, I just pulled it off. And by me doing that, I came out of that. I had a migraine headache for nine days. Never experienced that again. To God be the glory. But back to this reading. So right now we're talking about this King of Swords. In this deck, the King of Swords is a born leader. Okay? He governs all creatures and foliage around him. Okay? This, this king is a moral leader. He's analytical. He's ethical. He's knowledgeable. And he's a strong communicator. Okay, okay, so some of you are directors, directors of uh, facilities that may have something to do with uh, geriatrics or uh, those that are intellectually disabled. Okay, you need to take a break. You need a siesta. Okay, and that's where your success comes from. The Six of Swords. So your money is tied. Some of uh, some of our money is tied uh, to taking care of those that can't care for themselves. Okay, you got the Strength card and the King of Wands. Now there's a bunch of y'all out here that are leaders. Okay, and all these kings coming out. You got kings and knights coming out. Yeah, y'all are leaders. All right, and those that are not leaders are, are acting as if you might be like a a, a co a co director, or you may be a, a person that's in a position as a director or a manager or a supervisor. However, you just don't have the title to go with it, but you're doing the work. So you got the strength card and the king of wands. Now remember, the knight was very passionate. 
We know the king of ones is even more passionate than the knight, right? But he has to have strength. So let's go ahead and look more into this. So I'm going to go for the strength card first, since it's a major arcana, and it came out before the king of wands. All right, it says the orange wings of the lion suggest these fiery energy and the ability to soar to greater heights. The woman's fish-shaped hat crown, her bravery and fortitude. An affinity symbol indicates unity and the balance of forces. Her white dress signifies peace and purity. The meaning of this card, I'm sorry, is courage and determination, being constructive with self-discipline. Trust in your own abilities and compassion. Seize and control of your own destiny. And that's what you're doing. You're seizing control of your own destiny. You know what your limitations is, how much of this you can handle and how much you can't. Okay? Now that's your strength card. Alright? Now let's see what they have to say about this knight. I mean, this king of wands. We must talk about the pentacles, though. Always talk about the pentacles. Pentacles are essential. <laughs> okay. So this is talking about being self-assertive. Okay. Being ambitious. Financially planning. Okay. Strong leadership abilities and the confidence. All right. So there are other, others out there who have the strength and everything to move forward. And you're doing some financial planning. And it could be you financially planning while you're still handling your affairs, caring for others, so you can become financially free. Or um, you use this, you use uh, <clears throat> your skills to become financially free. Ooh, Jesus, what is that? I feel the blood against it. All right. So I'll just read it out. It says, the king has confidence, passion, and nature. The cobra emerging from the box represents divine authority. Sprites at the king's feet work and entertain him. His expression holds intensity and seduction. So this reading is saying so far that uh, you know who you are. You know what you want in life. Uh, a lot of y'all have already stepped into your um, your destiny, uh, your divine purpose, and you're working it. Yep. And by you working it, look at here. You, you're able to go out and eat, celebrate, uh, uh, even do some wonderful things for those. I, I actually I actually heard uh, something about a Christmas party stuff being put on for the geriatrics or those that are that are not able to take care of, uh, of t take care for themselves, you know, or else the intellectually disabled. So either a few of you getting ready to do this, or it may be something that's been uh, talking about. Y'all yeah, been talking about it about doing something very nice for them. Maybe there's a whole different entity, you know, that wants to come into your uh, your facility and actually. Uh, do things like this here, you know, come in and put on a show or a play or something for for those, you know, uh, for the geriatrics or those that are, you know, that in need. Yeah, I saw that. And I applaud you in advance. Charity, it's always a wonderful thing to have. It's always wonderful to have charity. Ooh, look at that. You got the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going in your favor. All of you who are out there caring for other people who have been selfless over the years. Okay? Things are about to go in your favor. Ace of Wands, look at that. Yeah. You, you're about to be very emotional about something. We're going to find out what that's about too. Okay? That Ace of Wands. It says the perception, perceptive owl. As you can see, she's sitting on the owl. That's a big ass owl. That means she got a lot of wisdom. <laughs> okay. The perceptive owl guides the child in developing intuition. His green feathers symbolize the go ahead, 
to pursue new ideas. Ooh, y'all. They tell you to pursue some new ideas. You got the green light. Okay. They say the child gazes up at the stream of stars, determined to begin life's adventure. Awesome. So somebody is ready to take flight and start a new adventure. Something new. Now, the meaning of this card is creative beginnings, a new way of life, ambition, enthusiasm, and last but not least, conception. Wow. It could be a conception of a new thought, a new idea. Okay. It could be conception of a child. Maybe somebody wants to have children. You got the Eight of Swords here. Okay. Well, that's what you want to do, but you got the Eight of Swords here. So, yeah, well, I, I can't do it because you're thinking about all the reasons why you can't. So, you got a mental block here. Okay. You can put yourself in a mental prison believing that you can't move forward. But that's not true. You just got the green light, which was the ace of wands, right? You got the green light, but you're saying, no, I can't do it. I don't know how many of us can go back this far, but think about it. Do you remember being a little kid and and you t and uh, and y'all outside playing? Maybe say you'd have made a little boat or something. No, a little bridge going across the ditch, right? And you're telling your little friends, come on, walk across it. Well, the little bitty people, they walk across it by faith. They don't, they don't even think about it. But somebody else, your age, said, no, nah, I can't do it. Why? I, I'm going to fall. No, everybody else, you saw everybody else come across it before you. Nobody else fell off. Why don't you try? No, no, I, don't, I can't do it. Why not? My shoe's not tied. Uh, why can't, I, can't, I can't do it. Why? Uh, I don't have no shoes on. Why can't you walk? I can't do it. Why? I might get wet. You see? Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we got a five of swords. Somebody, somebody afraid to, somebody real afraid. Now, we know the five of swords mean win at all costs, right? I'm going to make sure because the look on this woman's face looks like it's despair and, and a burden. So somebody, somebody else is, is viewing uh, this line of work as being weight is weighing them down. But let's see what this five of swords got to say before we get to this ten of wands. The five says, a disillusioned man contemplates the vines in place of his hands. Forcing him to accept his limitations. He must find the courage to walk between the two swords to discover a better pathway. So this card is a, is a card of defeat, cowardness, dishonor, loss of conquest. So there are some, there are some people out here, there are some people that are viewing this video who may feel like that, you know, all hope is lost. I mean, there's, why, why, there's no reason for me to try to pursue being happy now. You know, my life is over. Your life ain't over until it's over. Okay? All right? And by thinking that, that's, that's where the burden came in. Check it out. That's where the burden came in. Yeah, the Ten of Wands... The Ten of Wands here says, I don't know how I got my swords, but I got that. All right. The Ten of Wands says, you're already overwhelmed from the Ten of Wands on your back. It says, the young man adds to his load by collecting heavy rocks. Oh, my goodness. He recognizes his own predicament in the wilting flowers and his exhausted companion. So, this card is saying that you're taking on too much. You're overwhelmed with responsibilities. You're feeling of, the feelings of pressure and the need to clear some of your obligations. All right. So, those of you who are feeling overwhelmed and burdened, it says you need to clear up some of your obligations. The tower card. Yep. And once you do that, you got a towel moment. What that towel gonna be about? 
What is the towel for the collective? What is the towel? Okay, you're going to get a message. Yes, uh, me a message very quickly. Some kind of response. Let's find out. It's going to cause you to have a, a towel moment. And that's the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands says, <clears throat> excuse me, the determined girl moves swiftly towards her goal, being careful not to slip. Flowers growing from her head blossom like new ideas that need to be cultivated immediately. This card means understanding, harmony, the right conditions for success, a time for taking charge, important journeys, and good news. So, you got some good news coming in, okay? You're about to be in the right place at the right time and get the right kind of message in, and that's what's going to bring in a tower moment. So, we now we know that's a good tower. We know that's a good tower that's coming in for you. Okay. Okay, you got seven of pentacles that flipped over. Ooh, in this deck, she looked like she's trying to figure out how to make, what else can she do to make her money grow? That's what it looks like. So we got a seven of pentacles and a ten of cups. Ooh, wow. That's, that looks beautiful right there. So we got some people out here, some people that's all uh, viewing this video that are actually contemplating on what they can do for success to get, get their wish granted. Okay, I wish because the Ten of Cups is your wish is granted. Wish is granted, right? Harmony, peace, all of that stuff that you've been desiring, you got it. All right, so okay, so we got the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles says you lost in thought. A woman carefully observes the beauty of her garden and blooms. Her blue dress symbolizes calmness and stability. Hey. The meaning of this card is time to reflect on progress, coming to a crossroad, uh, considering a new direction. So some of us are, are considering a new direction, okay? And with that new direction, look, you got the Ten of Pentacles. It says, a girl in a bejeweled dress gazes into the golden ball handed down from her ancestors. In this ball, she foresees future endeavors. And the meaning of this is abundance, prosperity, comfort, good fortune, and flourishing ventures. Okay? So those of you who are wanting to put this down and, and want to get rid of the burden because you feel like it's overwhelming and you need to have the strength to do so as well as you need some time to rest and you need to get back back balanced and and all of that other good stuff. They, they also gave you the green light and say, okay, you can do this. All right. So now, we, and they say you're going to be abundant. Okay. So I would like to know how that abundance is going to come in. I would, I would really like to know. So if if the collective put decides to walk away from this from this career, Well, what's going to happen? What's going to happen to the collective if they walk away from this career? Well, you said some of them is going to be happy. Okay. Ooh. You got the Ten of Swords and the Chariot. Good Lord Almighty. So you got two tens. That means you're about to drop this burden. It's, it's over with. And it's going to happen real quick. So let me look at the Ten of Swords now. It said, ooh, the Ten of Swords says the inevitable ending. Okay, it says it's emerging from the darkness, a time to recuperate and decide that the worst is over. Hey, yay, yay. Ten of Swords. A bright full moon shines light on a weary girl, bringing new cycles of life. Blue is the color of calm, and the color pink signifies renewed good health. Look at that. Your health's going to renew. Your health's going to come back. Look at that. You're going to be restored, baby. I like that. And like I read, the meaning of that is inevitable ending. Emerging from the darkness, a time to recuperate, a sign that the worst is over. So 
when you decide to drop that, you're going to do it in the quickness. That's that chariot. And that's what's going to happen. Uh-huh. In the quickness, your health and stuff is going to start reversing. It's going to reverse back to, to good. It's going to reverse back from good to better. It's going to reverse from better to great. From great to excellent. From excellent to perfect health. Hello, somebody. Mm-hmm. And I ain't taking that back. Now, let's see what this chariot talking about. Number seven, and we know seven is blessings. We know five is change. We know three is creative. Come on now. We know two is a double portion, but I'm going to keep going over here. All right, number seven. Seven comes before the strength card. And that's that chariot. It says the charioteer struggles to guide his conflicting horses, yet his determination allows him to steady the chariot. The red details on the dark cards represents action and energy. So somebody ain't about to give up. Somebody going to move expeditiously. Mm -hmm. It says the white horse indicates a common force. Okay, so you got the vine behind you. You got God right there in with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if this is what you decide you want to do. Excuse me, y'all. I need to drink some water because I'm going to eat popcorn. <clears throat> we'll ask y'all to eat nuts that was in the popcorn. Okay, so <clears throat> it says the towering trees are vulnerable, yet they're strong. <clears throat> the meaning of this card says, Frustrating, loss of control, struggles, chaos. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. Please forgive me. Overcoming obstacles, a conquest well deserved, victory, willpower, confidence, and effort. It says invigoration. Ooh, baby. I like that already. I'm going to stop right there on that because that's, that's some positive energy right there. Uh, okay, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you some love oracles on this here. Because, you, you know, I can't I can't actually give you a hug, but I can give you a virtual hug, okay? I can give you a metaphysical hug, okay? I send out a ball of love, a light, to each and every person that's watching this video. Okay, you got the coffee cup. Okay, it say meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. So, hopefully that's what this video brought to you, Okay. Is there anything else? You got any more love offers that you want to give to the collective to inspire them, to encourage them? And uh, also, I want to tell each and every person that are out there that are taking care of people that are not family or that are taking care of family, maybe even those that are, that that are, that doesn't have parents, I, 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 I applaud you. I applaud you because... Uh, it takes a very special person to be able to do this kind of work, okay, to do this kind of work. So I don't want you to ever feel like that you have been forgotten, uh, that all hope is lost, uh, that the world is just weighing on your shoulder because God blesses you. God got you. Just think about it. Every time you go through something, when you, you get another, you get a blessing. Okay, you might have to deal with the people. The people might decide one day they go they're gonna do everything that you tell them to do, and then here come another day they go straight off the scale. They way off the grid. They over here. You over here. They way over here. You still right here. You trying to figure out what the hell? You know everything was going beautiful, or or you decide that you take them all out. You know for hot dogs and maybe a movie and a soda. Maybe they shared a bucket of popcorn together and uh, either right in the middle of the movie or right after it was over with, somebody decided to go left. Somebody wanted to come wayward. And so you start feeling like, well, I'm doing all of this, putting all of my, my goodness out there, but these people are rewarding me negative for what I'm doing. God got you, baby. The divine got you. Universe got you. Uh, and no good deed goes without being rewarded. Now, you may not get it over here, but you'll get it over there. And sometimes it don't always come in a fashion of money. It could come in good health, perfect peace, sound mind, sound body, 
It could come uh, by uh, keeping you from having been in an accident that could have caused you to be incapacitated for quite a while. You, you see what I'm saying? Blessings don't always become in, mon in a monetary fashion. However, it is a blessing. Okay? Uh, you slept in your house all night long and didn't realize your front door wide open. Or you left your car door open and your purse was out there. Okay? And I ain't just sit there all night long and make sure that nobody go to your car and take your wallet or nothing out of it. Hello. Not even mess with your vehicle. You went out there and it crumped right up. Boom. Just like that. See, those are blessings. Uh-huh. Or else uh, you think that you got an illness or something and it's really bothering you. So you go to the doctor and when you get to the doctor, you find out it was something really mild. All you got to do is take a couple of antibiotics and you over with it in about a week. See what I'm saying? Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. You blessed, baby. You blessed. And you are highly favored. You know why? Because you're doing a job that not many people are called to do. You know, the word tells us many are called and few are chosen. Yeah. Many of us are called. Called to do that which is righteous. Few of us are chosen. Chosen of to uh, lead people, to guide people, and also for certain talents, uh, uh, to show certain talents, you know, or gifts or something. That is a magnitude of love that cannot be hid. All right? Even if you try not to do that kind of work, you'll know if it's your passion. If you was to step out of it and you go right back to it, that was your passion. That's part of you. That's what you're supposed to be doing in this lifetime. Okay, and who's to say? You don't know what you did in a past lifetime. Maybe this is your way of uh, either finishing up some uh, uh, some unfinished business from a previous lifetime, or uh, this is something that you're doing because maybe in a past lifetime you was one of those people, you know, that needed care for. So by you coming back. You you feeling uh you decided to go ahead on and clear your your slate of karma and say okay now I'm getting back I'm done with this all right so your last two cards is the boat card that say receiving what you need progressing arriving moving on and closure of issues okay and the last card says soulmate soul connection partnership agreements and soul contracts and that's pretty much what we have uh, uh some of us have when uh we're dealing with other people. I mean, you, you're fulfilling soul contracts. I'm going to tell you something, and this might blow somebody's mind, but I'm going to say this here. When you get to the place where you no longer want to deal with a certain thing, you can always say, okay, I have completed this contract. Uh, it's over there in the cabinet. Uh, it is over with. It's finished. It's over. I, don't, I no longer want to participate. And wait and see what happened. I'm going to tell you something. I did that once uh, because I had been dealing with a person for I don't know how many years. And when I said that, it was like that person knew. Because all of a sudden they went, oh. like, oh, how did she know? And I was like, what the hell just happened? You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Is there anything else? Is there, are there any more tarots that you'd like to put on this reading for the collective? Is there anything else you can encourage them with? Are there any more words of encouragement that you'd like to speak to that collective? You made that game three cards at one time. Four cards, okay. You got the nine of cups, okay. All right, you're going to have a wish fulfillment coming in. Uh-huh, and when it come in, you're going to stand your ground. You're going to stand firm on that, right on. You're going to use your intuition, okay. Yeah, you got a lot of ideas, a lot of dreams, a lot of visions. You got some determination as far as being passionate and fire, exactly what you want to do. Okay? That bag of money in her hand. Yeah, you want to move forward. You got some things that you want to move on. Yeah, you got some ideas that you know they can bring some money to you or bring you wealth. All right? And uh, actually, you're going to get that wealth. All right? You got the Princess of Pentacles here. The Princess of Pentacles in this deck, she's pregnant, baby. Uh-huh. And she got flowers in front of it. And this is called a success in this deck. But I will get, I will read it anyway. The Princess of Pentacles. I told y'all, we got to have Pentacles. We must talk about the Pentacles, darling. Earth of Earth, study of education. The pregnant woman embodies fertility and growth. Birth of new creative forms. The symbol of the Mandela shield illustrates balance. The flowers provide a connection with Mother Earth and the seasons. Yes. 
she is very fertile. She is fertile. Spiritually. Physically. Intellectually. Ideas. Yeah. All right, y'all. I hope I encourage you. All right. Don't don't see nothing less than the best because you deserve nothing but the best. I roll out the red carpet for you right now in my mind. Each and every person that are in this field of work, please walk down this red carpet. You got VIP. Sit in the front rows. You deserve the best. Don't worry about getting up. You're going to be hand, waiting on hand and feet, okay? Hand and feet, all right? I'm pampering you right now in the spirit, okay? In my mind, you're being pampered. I can put y'all in the VIP section and can't nobody touch that. All right? All right. See you in the next video. Yeah, yeah.